In this video, we're going to talk about adding contour labels to our existing ground surface. Uh, so to get to the contour labels, we're going to go ahead and navigate up to the annotate tab and drop down our labels, drop down and select surfaces, add surface labels. Uh, inside of this, we're going to drop down our label type and select contour single. Inside of this, we can select the types of labels we want to have for our major contours, our minor contours, and our user-defined contours. I'm not going to create a new label style, but to create a new label style, it's the same as all the other label styles that we've created so far. Uh, you can create new or you can edit a current selection. When you're editing or creating a new one, you can jump through the information tab, the general text tab, the layout tab where you add additional components. You can add text, line, block, and direction arrow components. Um, you, can you can create the contents of your labels based on the drop down here uh, of these options available to us. Uh, and then you can initiate the drag state and how it's going to display for the drag state. And then you can look at the summary of your text. I'm going to go ahead and leave these as existing major, existing minor, and existing major for my major, minor, and user-defined contours. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and hit add to add a single point source contour. So what Civil 3D is telling me to do is select the surface that I want to place these labels onto. I want to just place them on my EG surface. So I'm going to zoom in to where we've placed these other labels and I'm going to pick a point on a contour. And then what Civil 3D does is it places a single label contour at that location. Now I can drop down and look at contour multiple. I again get to choose my major, minor, and user to find contour label styles. Uh, and then I click add. I hit enter to select the type of surface I want to put it on. I want to put it on my EG surface, so I'm going to click OK. And then Civil 3D tells me to specify my first point. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to start here below the 184, and I'm going to drag a line. So I clicked and dragged a line all the way down to below this green contour line. So then I'm going to click again, and what Civil 3D does is it will allow me to continue along like a polyline, or I can hit enter to escape from that command. Uh, so what this does is it draws a line or a polyline, and then every time that polyline intersects a contour, it shows a label of what that contour elevation is. So what you can do if you want to is modify this line and drag it however you'd like. So you can keep it down here. I could drag the top end up further, and you can use this as a nice way to stack all your contours together. And then in your surface feature settings, you can actually change the settings to make this line disappear if you don't want that line to display. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down and select contour multiple interval. And again, we can select our major, minor, and user defined contour label styles. I'm going to go ahead and click add. And then what Civil 3D again is going to do is it's going to ask me to choose the surface that I want to place them on. I'm going to select EG and click OK. Uh, and then Civil 3D is going to say pick first point, just like we did on our multiple contours. And so I'm going to pick, and then I'm going to drag a line down and pick again. And what Civil 3D is now going to tell me is, what interval do you want to place additional labels along these contours that you've picked a line across? And so you can choose any interval you want. I'm going to choose an interval of 150 feet. So what Civil 3D is going to do is it's going to run along those contours that I dropped a line across. At every 150 feet, it's going to place a label on that contour. And so when I do that, you can see I now have a multiple label, contour label coming down here. Uh, and then I have individual label contours coming through here. And the one thing to note is that Civil 3D really only creates one label style for a contour. It's just how it implements those labels. Because if you look at your single contour label, uh, you'll notice that if I zoom in really close, uh, I have these three snap points or grips. Uh, if I click on one of these grips, it functions just like my multiple contour. And I can drag it down here, and it now is no different than the other two multiple contour labels that I have for the rest of them. And the same thing with all of these interval ones that were placed, they also have a grip that's available to be edited and dragged so that you can create multiple contours from a single line. 